Hey guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take this wig from this to this. She's giving volume and body and I promise you this is so easy. You can achieve this at home. This is like currently like my go-to hairstyle. It's so easy. And if you guys want to learn, then please continue to watch. Let's just jump into this tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm using a pre-made wig from West Kiss Hair, and this wig is about 200 density. She is thick and she is full. Now, I usually don't use 200 density. I usually do 180 because I feel like 200 can be a bit much. But for the style that I'm going for today, I really wanted super thick, full, voluminous hair. And I usually like to show you guys my wig straight out of the box, but I actually lost that clip and I apologize for that because I really want you guys to see what the wig looks like fresh out the box. So what I've done already is I've already bleached the knots on this wig and I already tweezed the hairline to give it more of a natural look and it's not looking like you know too wiggy in the front but I've already done that and if you are new to wigs I will link one of my customization video in the description box down below so you guys can see how I bleach and tweeze my wig I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna start cutting some layers and I like to cut it not too short because I don't want to destroy this wig because you know I'm not a professional I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to cutting hair so I like to start off long and then work my way into getting it shorter and this hair it's about 24 inches but i'm about five foot five and a half and i want it to be a little bit shorter i feel like 24 inches is like super long on me and i want to create a lot of volume and body with this wig so i did cut a huge chunk of this hair off so i cut a bit off and i'm going to create more layers in the front as well so i want the front to be shorter i know it's a little uneven right now but i promise you i will fix it so i'm going to go in with my sharing comb because it's so much easier to cut the hair with like a razor than a scissors especially when you have no clue what you're doing so i do go in a lot with my sharing comb and also with the scissors to cut layers and as you can see i'm cutting everything on a angle move on to styling this hair i'm going to use my ion hair serum and my sebastian shaper hairspray i love this product it's my absolute favorite hairspray it doesn't make the hair too stiff and i'm going to be using some grip rollers today so as you can see i'm using a large size and a medium size i will put the size number somewhere on the screen but you guys these rollers i have been sleeping on these they are freaking amazing i absolutely love them i'm gonna go in with my 25 millimeter curling iron and i'm gonna curl the hair and then go in with the rollers as you can see i did the curls forward so i'm going away from the face and then the second one i went under now this is going to create a lot of volume in the front of the hair and then as for the back i curled it under now you could curl it forward if you do curl it forward i feel like you would have a lot more volume but listen honey i'm just testing this out like i don't usually curl my hair a lot because i can tell you right now i am not the best when it comes to styling but honestly this is so easy this is gonna be like my go-to hairstyle right now like i'm living for rollers especially the grip rollers and for the size i curled it away from the face as you can see and i left the curlers in for about like an hour now you could use regular rollers or you could just do pin curls without rollers Okay, so I just realized I said curled it away from the face, but you know, this is a mannequin head. This is not my actual head, but yeah, you get what I mean, right? Anyway, so I attempted to put the wig on. I was going to attempt to apply this wig with the rollers, but honey, mm -mm, I can't do that. <laughs> it's just not going to work for me. My skill level is just not there. If the lace was already cut, then yeah, but I don't want to mess up this lace. So I'm just going to take out these rollers. Now I left the roller in for about half an hour and I'm going to start taking them out. I mean I could have left them in longer but half an hour I felt like it would be good enough. And as I'm taking them out I'm like um where's the curls? <laughs> but don't worry the volume is coming guys. And they were a little bit tricky to take out the rollers. So that's why you do have to apply some hair serum onto the hair before you actually start taking out these rollers. Because listen they have a good grip. I would personally not use this in my natural hair because I'd be too scared to rip my hair out with these rollers. But as far as the wig goes, yes. Like, I mean, are you seeing my hair right now? Are you seeing my hair? It's giving by. Who, who is she? Who, who is she? 
clearly i'm over here feeling myself and you know the hairline is looking really really good now i'm gonna go ahead and start applying this wig. i wish i could have applied it while the rollers were still in my hair because i didn't want the curls to fall too fast but i'm gonna go ahead and start applying this wig and i'm taking out little sections of hair to create a more natural looking hairline and i'm gonna go ahead and cut that lace into sections you guys know how i do when i'm applying the wig i like to cut small sections because I just feel like it's so much easier for me to apply the wig like this and I'm gonna go in with some bold hold lace glue and I'm just showing you guys where I'm about to put the glue I forgot to mention that I am already wearing a wig cap so I did the ball cap method using the stocking the pantyhose like I did in the last uh, application video I will link that video down below just in case if you haven't seen it as yet but I'm wearing a HD lace and when it comes to HD lace I prefer to use the pantyhose because it's very very seamless you won't see the wig cap underneath and I'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer on the cool setting just to melt down that glue and honey that hairline she's giving Yalpiana, and I'm here for it. And I'm gonna go in with my baby scissors and cut away that extra lace. Now I had a lot of people in my comment section saying this, wow, this looks like a lot of work, it's too much work. You guys have to keep in mind that this is a first time I'm wearing this wig, so I do have to put some work into it to make it look good. Once I've done all this, I don't ever have to do this again when I wear this wig. All I have to do is just pop it on my head, glue it down if I wanna glue it down or not glue it down if I just wanna wear it the elastic band method but just keep in mind that the sides will be a little bit floppy and I don't really like that look <laughs> but yeah so I don't have to actually cut the lace every single time because the lace is already cut I don't have to tweeze the hairline again because the hairline is already tweezed so you don't have to do that again once you've done all the steps and me personally I like when my wig looks good I don't want it to be out here looking crazy on my head so yes I will put some effort into making it look good now this wig i will tell you right now it was actually a little bit actually not a little bit it was a lot big for my head my head size is about 21 and most wigs they come in about 21.5 most pre-made wigs and i can work with a 21.5 but i believe this was like a 22 like it was really really big for my head um but I added an elastic band inside of the wig so that way it could fit me better and I had to cut off a lot of extra lace on the side just to get it to fit my hairline properly. And I've bought bundles and I've tried wigs from uh, West Kiss Hair before. This is not my first wig from them. My last video that I did, I was wearing their wig as well. But for some reason, this one was like really, really big compared to the other wigs that I've tried from them. But we're going to make it work. And as you can see, I'm just melting down that glue into my skin. Now I'm going to go in with the eyebrow razor and create some very natural baby hair. I don't like too much sideburns either because I naturally don't have a lot of sideburns. So I like to create my wigs with like somewhat similar of a hairline that I already have. I don't do a lot of baby hairs naturally when I wear my hair. I don't have a lot of sideburns either so I don't do my wigs like that. If you prefer that look you can definitely do that. Now as you can see I went in with my small baby curling iron to curl the hair away from the face. This is going to make it a lot easier to create the baby hairs. And then I'm going to go in with my hot comb. So I usually like to make my wigs like super duper duper flat but for this case because I want the volume on the top, I'm not gonna go in too much with the hot comb and flatten it. And I'm just gonna go in with a little hair mousse at the side to melt down that wig. And then I'm gonna use the extra pantyhose that I have and tie my hair down. And I'm gonna let this hair melt, do my makeup and come back. And honey, who who is this? I don't, listen, I don't even know who this girl is, but I'm here for the volume. Are you guys feeling this? And I didn't want a very deep, defined part in my hair i wanted to have that no part look you know kind of like the 90s supermodel hairstyle that is the look that i'm going for let me know what you guys think about this look but i am so here for this i was feeling the heck out of this hair i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like as a center part as well again not a very defined part but yeah this is how it looks and i could have definitely made the bangs in the front shorter but you know maybe next time i'll try that so yeah if you guys enjoy this video give me a thumbs up let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next and let me know if this video was helpful to you or not so yeah i'll see you in another video very very soon i love you guys and thank you for watching and supporting my channel bye